Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is just a very quick, uh, fancy fold, creative fold, whatever you want to call it, but very simple. I am using the new Encircled in Beauty dies. Absolutely love these layering dies. Um, they do come in a bundle, but we can use them with so many different um, stamp sets. I also have the hand pen designer series paper. Of course, the hand pen, <coughs> excuse me, sweet is my tutorial this month. You want to head over to my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, to learn how you can get an exclusive um, tutorial uh, done with this suite. Uh, many creative folds in that tutorial. This one is not one of them. So I have the hand pen designer series paper. This one measures two and three quarter by five. This one one by five. I have a piece of basic white. This measures three and three quarter by five. And of course my standard card base, five and a half by eight and a half and I by the looks of it I need to to change the blade in my trimmer I did not realize I was having problems with that I am going to bring in a scrap piece of paper first I'm going to take that three and three quarter by five um, basic white and my misty moonlight ink I'm going to use um, the stamp and again I realize that this I'm going to just bring in a sanding block to get rid of those rough edges I did not realize how bad my blade is in my trimmer but that will just kind of buff off those rough edges you can also use an emery board um, for that I'm going to bring in those little dots again this is from the hand penned a petal stamp set and I'm just going to stamp and stamp off some of those dots for along the edge I'm also going to take the small center um, of the encircled in beauty dies and I'm going to stamp the feel better friend I don't know about you but boy lately I have been sending out a lot of get well cards and sympathy cards so it's always great to have them made ahead of time and this create a fold is very simple um, to do that with so I have already scored it in half at uh, the four and a quarter but I'm going to bring in my trimmer and I'm going to also score the one edge at the one and a quarter. So the five and a half by eight and a half along that eight and a half inside, you want to have a score of one and a quarter and four and a quarter. I'm going to bring in that three and three quarter by five, whisper white. And I'm going to place that in the center. Now I stamped that, but I could have also added the designer series paper, another strip of the designer series paper. It's up to you. I'm going to take that one by five. We're going to put that right on the flap like so. and lining it up with that basic white. This piece will go on the inside of the flap or under the flap I guess. And again we want to make sure that it lines up. So I'm just going to tack that a little bit. Make sure that it, yep, looks good. And then I am going to adhere my flap down. You can leave that open if you want. I'm going to grab um, a large dimensional. You want to make sure that you don't add too much adhesive. We just want that to kind of overlap. We're going to use a smaller dimensional 
on the small white. I think I'll put a couple of them on that. If I can get it to stop sticking to my finger. There we go. And there we have it. Just a very quick creative fold. Again, we could use different designer series paper patterns and also put a strip of designer series paper on that side if we wanted. Hope you've enjoyed this quick card. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.